Oridia, Oridia launch cable of 500 meters, fiber spool of about 20 kilometers, fiber spool of about 10 kilometers. Enter into Oridia. Click parameter setting. For test wavelengths, you can select 1310. 1550, 1310, and 1550. Select uh, 1550, for example. For test range, select uh, 60 kilometers. The total length of fiber board is around uh, 30 kilometers. The test range is two times of the total length of fiber spool. For power speeders, select uh, one micron second or 500 nanosecond. We select uh, one micro second, for example, because the test range is 60. For test time, you can select uh, 10 second, 15 second, 30 second, or real time. We select 30 seconds. For reflection, it is reflective index. The f reflective index is different for different fiber manufacturers. You should ask uh, for reflective index from your cable manufacturer. For launch cable, because there is a launch cable of 500 meters, select uh, length, input 500, click enter. For the receive cable, select none, unit, kilometers. Click threshold setting. We can set attenuation threshold, reflection threshold, terminal threshold, scattering coefficient threshold, path and field threshold. For path and field threshold, we can set reflection event, non reflection event, total loss, reflect. Average loss. We put it in default. Click test. We, sh we should wait 30 seconds. Here we can see the wavelength is 1550 nanometer. The pulse width is 1 microsecond. The cursor A and the cursor B. 0 meters, 0 dB. We can see the result. This is the curve. This is the data. Three events. 0. It means the OLEDR launch cable. This is the first fiber spool, about uh, 20 kilometers. Here it is the fiber end, 30 kilometers. The length is about uh, 10 kilometers. There are three modes to see re the result. Only show the curve. Click here. It only shows the data. Click cursor A. Click that again to change cursor B. Again to change it cursor A and B.
place the directional navigation keys to move the cursor A. Click cursor B. Place right directional navigation key to move cursor B. Here we can see the lengths of cursor A and cursor B and the relative power. Click curve operation. Press directional navigation keys to zoom in or zoom out move cursor A for example Click curve operations. Place directional navigation keys to check the details of cursor A and cursor B. Click File Operations. Click Save Settings. This is the setting for save storage device SD or USB disk file name. We can change the name here. Optic fiber number. Create fold by date. Yes or no. Auto save, yes. File type. There are four five types we can see here. Operator, we can put the operator name. Click back. Click save to save the testing data. Click confirm. This is a saved pass. Click load. Double click it. Click load again to load the saved curves. Click switch to check the two curves. This is the saved curve. This is the saved curve. Click remove current trace. The curve is deleted. Click back. Click event analysis. Click cursor A. It will change cursor A, cursor B, cursor AB. We can analyze the curve. Curve operations it is the same. It is to zoom in or zoom out curves. Add event. Click add event. Before add event, we should select cursor A or cursor B. For example, select cursor A, move cursor A here, click add event, 
it will add an event for the code. Select event and remove event. <coughs> 